Cuts. 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 What's wrong, Kevin? Old Navy for kids all out of your size? Oh, Candy. I've been spending all day trying to copy one of them Howard Stern wigs, but look like you've got the last one. <laughs> Y'all, it's, it's me and Felicia's anniversary Tuesday, and, and it just dawned on me this morning. I don't know a damn thing about her. <laughs> so, so I don't know what to get her, y'all. Well, what do you mean? You two have been dating for three months. Yeah, I know, but, you know, we so busy, we only really get to kick it on the weekends. I mean, how do people find time for a successful relationship? Welfare. Here she, here she come, y'all. All right, y'all right. fill her out. See what she wants, but be subtle. <laughs> hey, Felicia. Hey, 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 hey. What do you want Kevin to get you for your anniversary? Damn it, Tiffany. I'd Good. love some earrings. Hmm, those are cute. Oh, well, your taste in jewelry is better than your taste in men. I have excellent taste in men. And I'm working on Kevin. <laughs> Baby, what's wrong? I just came from my ex-husband Frank's house, and our dog just died. Oh. oh. You were hanging out with Frank again? I mean, I mean, I'm sorry about your dog. You were hanging out with Frank again? So, Tiff, you ready for your weekend? Yep. Jeremy booked us in a little bed and breakfast in Virginia for a romantic getaway. Bed and breakfast? Hmm. I thought you guys would be doing something hot and exciting, like gambling in Atlantic City. <laughs> well, don't let the snake tattoo fool you. Jeremy prefers it quiet and cozy. Yeah, but every once in a while, he likes to get wild. I mean, mix it up, right? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, this weekend, we're renting canoes, so... Hmm. You know, that could be wild. If he was butt naked and you were Pocahontas. <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> well, what are you doing this weekend? Sitting around waiting for the damn handyman to come by and fix things in my apartment. Well, I mean, why don't you just find someone else to do it? Well, who else has so little going on in their lives that they could... Ace! Ace, would you mind coming by my place and helping me out this weekend? I'm having problems with pipes. Shut up, Kevin. Hey, Leaky Foster, no sweat. I love whipping been out my tools. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> Here's my key. Come by anytime. I'm Thanks, Ace. Tiffany? Jordan? Cousin Tiffy? Ah! Hey, hey, screaming white women equal jail time for black men. Everyone, this is my bestest cousin in the whole wide world, Jordan Sherwood. Hi. I can't believe you just dropped in. Oh, well, my fiance, Jose Luis, left me for his wife. Well, Jordan, I mean, you can't expect a married man to marry you. Oh, Tiffany. You're always so deep with philosophy and stuff. <laughs> okay, Tiff, grab your bags. Minivan's gassed up. I got a bag full of soy jerky and two Billy Joel CDs. We're road tripping, baby. Jeremy, meet my cousin Jordan. Hi. Hi. Are you guys going somewhere? Uh, yeah, you almost missed us. I mean, I was just about to head out of town with my boyfriend for the weekend. Oh. Well, fine. Go ahead. I'll just, uh... Wait for you here. I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. I guess. Okay, it's nice meeting you, Jordan. Come on, Tiff, let's go. Jeremy! Jordan's upset. I mean, we should take her out and show her a good time tonight. Maybe we'll just leave tomorrow. Well, if we don't leave now, we're gonna miss candle making for couples. Oh, candle making for couples. Jordan, I hope you brought your dancing shoes. Oh, did I? Ah. <laughs> Damn, Pete. Faith has been on the phone with her ex 24-7. You just have to be supportive. She's going through a difficult time, man. Yeah, man, but Frank keeps making excuses to call her. This week is the dog. Last week is, help, I blew out a tire and spun out on the freeway. <laughs> Punk. <laughs> Are you going to buy something or not, Fresh Prince? Damn. I'm, I'm just trying to pick out the perfect gift for my baby. That's all, Mr. Onion. Mr. Onion DK. Yeah, Mr. Onion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. May I suggest this fine bracelet? $12,000. Hmm. How about I give you... Non-negotiable. <laughs> Damn, brother. I mean, it's just an anniversary gift. I ain't cheat on her nothing. 
<laughs> hey. Yeah, these earrings are half a carat. Five hundred dollars. Mmm, I like those. It's nice, but let's be honest with each other. Are those earrings conflict-free diamonds? Damn that Kanye West. <laughs> yeah, these are what you want. My Kanye says, brother. <clears throat> Same price. Perfect. Have them wrapped and sent to them. You'll have them tomorrow. Cool. Hey, uh, Mr. O, I just wanted to say, uh, one day I hope to visit your homeland. The birthplace of my forefathers, the cradle of civilization. I'm from time. Brooklyn. Yeah, it's open house on my heart. It's open house on my heart. It's open house on my heart. I got my tools. It's Wanna get started on that lease? Is it cool to come in? Ooh, come on in. Come on in. Candy. Ah! Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, tequila shot. Uh, no, we're good. Uh -huh. Thanks. What? Let's go. Hey, maybe we have some new Netflix in the mail. And Jordan doesn't look like she's having a good time. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. It's just this loud music, slutty women, whiskey. It all reminds me of him. <laughs> Look, I understand, but this is different. I mean, everyone needs some excitement, you know, a little change of pace. God knows I do. Can I get some seltzer, please? Uh -huh. My tummy's upset. We got a little mite all if he wants it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Club Fabulous. Are you ready for your first performance? Then put your hands together for Goldman, Goldman and Smith, attorneys and us. Is this a strip club? Bring it on. <laughs> I'm out of here. Hey, Mr. Goldman. Why don't you come serve me with your subpoena? Yeah! All right, your turn. Oh, I don't think I'm up for this. Oh, baby, you are so up for it. Come on, come on, come on. Actually, Jordan's still partying. Those strippers have stamina. Whew. You sure you don't need a nap or, or a shower or, or, or both or something, please? I'm not even tired. You think I'd be? I haven't felt this good in a long time. But I might take you up on that shower. <laughs> Acidophilus. Candace. <laughs> no, Frank. The black shoes. For you, not the dog. <laughs> I'll call you back. Call him back. <laughs> I mean, what's there to talk about? Dog's still dead, right? Well, I'm sorry, Walt, but Frank and I have a history. Yeah, babe, history. All right, as in past, that's done. Right? I mean, we're together now. Of course. But Frank really needs me. Hello, Frank. Yeah, I think you were right. We should play the theme song from Lassie. Who let the dogs out is just tacky. <laughs> Hey, Kevin, I got up early. Hey, look, everybody gather around, gather around. I want y'all to see me give my baby her anniversary present. <laughs> well, that's OK. Why don't we wait until we go to dinner tonight? Well, like I said, I want everybody to see how much I care about you and how I roll. Get <laughs> around. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, hold on. That ain't free. <laughs> right, it's a, it's a what?
believe you're getting married. Yeah, neither can I. Uh, Felicia, can I... Felicia, can I... Oh, Felicia, can I... Oh, B, I thought you bought her earrings. I, I did. I mean, y'all was there. Damn, Mr. Onion messed up. Look, I'm not trying to get married. Thank God. Huh? Thought you went bitch on us. <laughs> that proposal was a mistake. You gotta talk to police before it gets out of control. Yeah. Too late. The women folk have caught sin of wedding. Oh, oh, I got the perfect dress for you to wear. Oh, love it, girl. You gonna love it. Ah! Uh, tall black Baltimore bride. Why do you have those? Aren't you practically a virgin again? Uh, uh, mind your business, jungle fever. Here, Felicia. Uh, uh, Felicia, I need to talk to you for a minute. Kevin, I need to talk to you too. This ring. This, this whole proposal. It's so out of nowhere. Exactly. That's what I, I mean. I mean, I knew you loved me, but I didn't realize how much. And now I feel so special <laughs> and so happy. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. What did you want to say? Uh, uh, <laughs> what's our color scheme? <laughs> showing me such a good time. You know, Grandpa Joe is wrong. You're not a bitch at all. <laughs> uh, well, you're helping me a lot, too. I hadn't realized how ordinary my life had become. Oh, you just figured that out? We talk about it all the time. <laughs> Who's we? Everyone in the room when you walk out of it. <laughs> it's true, I guess. I mean, I hadn't even been to a club since I started dating Jeremy. <gasps> no clubs? What do you guys do? Well, we go outlet shopping and hiking and picnics and knitting and bird watching and oh my god, kill me now. <laughs> you forgot to tell about family bowling night. Oh, oh he makes you bowl? I hope he's hung like a nine pin. <laughs> I'm gonna go try my new jeans. Oh hey, babe. Jeremy, hey, what are you doing here? Oh, I just got a massage. Haven't seen you in a few days, so I thought I'd pay someone to touch me. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I've just been so busy trying to cheer up Jordan. I just... Well, hopefully after all this is over, you'll help cheer me up. Oh, my God. I love these jeans. Look. They give me a black ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> uh... <laughs> She really looks down. <laughs> oh, well, no, that's just her medication and her drinking problem. And she's bipolar with a split personality, but other than that, she's fine. <laughs> you know what? I'll call you. Acidophilus. Uh, Candace? <laughs> Uh, your uh, four o'clock call said she's running late. Oh, uh, Miss Perky. Per Perkins. Uh, Naked. Mrs. Rodriguez. Well, I'm off to Frank Jr.'s favorite park to spread his ashes. Oh, baby, you want me to come with you? Oh, uh, thanks, but uh, Frank will be there and we're gonna grab a drink after. But uh, I'll call you. Okay. Bye, guys. Wow, look at those penguins march. <laughs> but the fat one fell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what would be fun? If I gave you a lap dance every time a penguin falls, huh? We're in your dad's living room. I mean, come on, it's almost over. Crisis, how do I look? Really cute. You're right, I should change. Hey, I thought we were gonna be alone tonight. Oh, we are. Jordan's going to our friend Alicia's welcome back from rehab party. If it's anything like her relapse party, she's gonna have a blast. Sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. But we can have fun here, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how about this? Oh, you look like your mother. <gasps> you bitch, I'll go change. 
<laughs> no, 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 relax. From now on, I promise. It's just gonna be you and me and the black flirty skirt. If we're not doing lap dances, I'm not putting on a skirt. <laughs> not you. Jordan, put on that black flirty skirt and your gold wedges. Damn it, Tiffany. I mean, if you want to play dress up with your cousin, why did you even invite me over? Hey, she just wants to look nice for the party. This is gonna be good for her. There's gonna be a lot of cute guys there and a slip inside full of vodka. <laughs> Sounds like more fun than a night with your boyfriend. Yeah, but... I mean... No, no. I, I know what you mean. I mean, who are we kidding? All we do is fight and break up every week. Don't you think that's what makes this all exciting? I mean, we do have the best makeup sex. All this drama is childish. I need something more mature than that. Yeah, but mature doesn't have to mean boring. You know what, Tiffany? I think we're just too different. I'm not gonna keep doing this. All right. Then I'm not gonna ask you to. I'm out. About registering at Crate and Barrel. Yeah, yeah, baby, whatever. You can register for whatever you want, all right? <laughs> I don't think I can finally get my 22-inch my rims with the chimes. Kevin, <laughs> we're supposed to be planning our future together. Like, which private school in Miami our three kids are gonna go to? Okay, ho ho slow down, okay? Hold up. And there's a lot wrong with what you just said, okay? For starters, I'm Baltimore for life. You know what I'm saying? And we only having one kid. It's gonna be a boy, little Kev. <laughs> Family, Kevin, especially since I was an only child. You only child? For real? You only want one kid? For real? Maybe it's gonna take some time for us to plan our future together. Maybe we should have taken that time before you proposed. <laughs> about that. <laughs> I, I was gonna say this for the wedding toast. You, you gonna like it? <laughs> See, the whole proposal? You know, that, that was all a big mistake. <clears throat> what? <laughs> I know, crazy, right? <laughs> oh, come on, baby. It, it was just a little mixed up with the anniversary gift. But look, look I, I gave it some thought, and, and I'm all on board with the idea now. On board? I don't want a fiance who's on board. I want someone who wants to marry me. Felicia, ba baby, I, I do want to marry you. I mean, you're fine, you're smart, and you're funny, and you're gonna make a lot of money one day, and we, we have fun together. What about love? Ooh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I do love you. Good call, baby. <laughs> love should have been at the top of your list, Kevin. I don't want to marry you. At least, at least not until we're both sure that this is it. Yeah, you're probably right. So you want to go watch a movie, get a bite to eat or something? <clears throat> no. So are we breaking up? I think I just need a little break. probably want your ring back. You don't gotta give back the ring. <laughs> Felicia, wait. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Kevin. Bye, Felicia. What are you doing? Candy, things have been weird with us since I walked in on you. We need to restore the balance in our friendship. So, here goes.
Love you too, Netta.